Apparently these guys got it right. So what did AMC bring to the table that all the various other incarnations didn't get? Yeah, I think I think it was partly the determination to do it as a TV show because one of the attempts to do a film did result in a script, uh, which was very well written, but it proved that there's simply too much material in Preacher to cram into two and a half hours. It, it can't be done. So you need TV, you need that breathing space. Um, as for AMC in particular, well, I think I think partly they had the good sense to go with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, who want to do Breacher, not because not because of some big attachment, but because they love it, they live it and breathe it. Also because, and I said I mentioned this earlier, I think in a way, to an extent, TV has caught up with what we could do in comics 20 years ago. Um, partly because you've got a smaller audience, less people are looking. But previous attempts to put it on TV, even HBO five or six years ago, there was a lot of talk about what could and couldn't be done. These guys are more all about what can be done. Uh, and I think that's what's made the difference. This is one of the most beloved properties in comics. Uh, is there any kind of nervousness, any apprehension about how you guys have done it just Not until you just mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, of course, there always is. But, you know, if you have that apprehension and that fear, you never get any made. You never do anything. And, of course, there are going to be people that are upset by hard takes on certain characters. But well, you have to choose something and you have to be bold with it. Something that is this bold. And I think we've made something... I mean, I love it, and I'm really excited for people to see it. If fans or non-fans of comics, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Or, you know, the things that I grew up loving, you know, Twin Peaks when I was young, watching that and watching early Tarantino, this has all has a real sense of that, and a darkness, and also the comedy of it, and the, and the danger of it. It's, 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 I've not seen anything like it, and, I'm, and I never, ever sit really through anything I'm in. But I'm really excited to sit through this and see people's reactions to it. Because I think, I think no one, it's one of the, no one knows what's about to happen or what's going to come next. And I think that that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. So this is your second foray into something comic book based. You did the Howard Stark role for the Agent Carter one shot. Yes, yes. Um, obviously this is much, much darker. Do you find it difficult to get into this character's head and figure out what he's all about because it is so dark? Yeah, I do. I do. I, but, um, and it's a tough one because he's surrounded by such colourful characters. It's like his the, the centre is this darkness at the centre of this madness, and it's not hard getting into the head. And it's all it's always hard getting into the head of someone that you are not. But I'm really enjoying discovering more and more about him. Actually, it's very it's really complex. And actually, in this the first one, you see him really struggling with it and actually giving up hope. And then you see him really desperate to go to, to right, right the wrongs of his past and try and save this town that he actually genuinely cares about. Although he's harboring so much guilt about his father. But, but that's the kind of thing that keeps him strong and going and desperate to save these people. Uh, we're doing it! Uh, so this is a little bit of a different sandbox for you guys because you've made all these big bold comedies like super bad like this is the end and now you're playing in this this really kind of dark twisted sort of fucked up landscape so what is that for you guys like as just as creators what is it like to get to exercise to develop a different muscle it's really fun it's really fun i mean we're always fans of that stuff you know um we yeah, love, i, I yeah. read more dark shit than i read i know and i watch more dramatic movies and TV shows than I do comedic ones, you know, and so it's fun to finally get to participate in it, you know. Um, I think it's something that, it just never felt organic, um, and this was the first thing where we were like, I actually think we might be the most qualified people to do this at this moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we directed yeah. this to the end, up until then, we had to say, couldn't someone do this better, couldn't someone do this It's true, better? and Preacher, we were just like, I think the version that we want to do, we we might be the best three people to do. <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna see all the dark shit? Are we gonna see Hair Star? Are we gonna see you know the Saint of Killers? Are we gonna see our, like all this nasty shit? We want to keep all the characters people love. Yeah, and we want to make sure that fans aren't missing out on like that chunk they love. Yeah, and we because we're you know as big fans of it as anyone, and so we it would, we have to make a show that has all the shit that we. Yeah, I would be have been wanting this Hair Star wasn't it? Exactly, and so. <laughs> Um, we really, yeah, but at the same time, we wanted to make a show that even as fans, you wouldn't know what to expect, you know, um, and we'll take you on twists and turns, hopefully to get you to the place that you want to be.